Transport facilitates the movement of people, good services and resources, and improves access to local and international markets. Therefore, removal of physical and non-physical barriers to effective transportation will directly impact economic and social development of our countries, one of the main objectives of establishing the ESC Regional Economic Community. In today's digital age, communication is the bridge that connects us all, transcending geographical boundaries. It is through effective communication systems that we can share knowledge, foster innovation, and build cohesive community. Metrology play a critical role in our ability to anticipate and mitigate the impact of climate change and natural disaster, disasters. Accurate and timely meteorological data are therefore essential for planning and protecting our infrastructure, agriculture, and communities. Distinguished delegates, this council provides an excellent platform for us to discuss and, advise, and devise strategies to enhance our communication networks, ensuring that no corner of our region remains isolated. Consequently, let's use this forum to strengthen our methodological cooperation and build resilience against the challenges posed uh, by climate change as we witness today. Dear delegates, the Central Council exemplifies the spirit of cooperation and unity that defines the East Africa community. And by working together, sharing our experiences and learning from each other, we can overcome <coughs> the challenges that lie ahead and size the opportunities that present themselves. Our unity is our strength. And it is through our collective efforts that we will achieve our shared vision of a prosperous and integrated East African community. As a host country, Kenya reaffirms its commitment to developing and maintaining relevant and robust infrastructure, laws and regulations that enable effective communication, mitigate climate change, foster trade, and facilitate seamless movement across our borders. We would also like to commend partner states for supporting the development of an efficient railway system in the EAC region by developing the Northern and Central Corridor Standard Gauge <coughs> Railways, which will in, in, encourage large-scale mining and farming, and through access to high-capacity railway transport services, in turn support the Africa Continental Free Trade Area. The acceleration of implementation of single African air transport uh, market will ensure aviation plays a major role in connecting Africa promoting its social, economic, and political integration, and thus boosting inter-Africa trade and tourism. We therefore urge partner states who are yet to join the above air transport market to expedite their national consultations. Through maintaining a resilient, sustainable, and inno innovative regional aviation safety and security oversight system, it will enable partner states maintain compliance with the KO uh, audits. Not only will the modernization of meteorological service in the region support aviation uh, transport, but it will also be critical in production sectors such as agriculture. Honorable Ministers, I am pleased to bring to your attention that in a bid to improve safety and security in our inland waters, the Lake Victoria Basin Commission commends the construction of the Regional Maritime Coordination Center in Mwanza, United Republic of uh, Tanzania. Honorable Ministers, we are happy to report that in the intervening period since your last sector council meeting in Bujumbura, the Republic of Burundi and United Republic of Tanzania, of Tanzania have joined the one network area, uh, signaling a new era in the region pushing towards the digital economy. The Secretary further requests the partner state to consider implementation of, F, of SNFs uh, and data framework in order for the for uh, over 300 million uh, East Africans to benefit. 